Do you ever turn on your heat or air conditioning and suddenly the inside of your car just smells like well, it's probably time to replace your cabin air filter. So the cabin air filter filters out pollen and dust. That way when the heat and the air conditioning are running, it's not just sucking all that pollution in and blowing it all over your car's interior. But over time, uh, moisture, humidity builds up in there. It becomes a breeding ground for bacteria and that's why it may smell bad after a while um, if you don't replace it. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace it on the E90. I'm assuming that this is pretty similar for most cars. And um, for $20, this may be the cheapest part that you ever replace on a BMW. So um, I'm gonna leave a link to the exact one below again if you have a different car just go on Amazon uh, type in your make and model and find the right one for your car but let's get right into the install this should be pretty simple so yeah let's get right into it In addition to the paper that filters out the dust and the pollen this also has carbon which filters out toxic gases this man filter also came with step-by-step -step instructions, which is a nice touch. On many BMW models, you'll find your cabin air filter under this plastic cover right next to the windshield. The cover is held on by six 8mm screws. Alright guys, so I'll be honest, in the whole time that I've owned this car, I've never changed the cabin air filter and to the best of my knowledge, this is the original one from 2006, so I'm really nervous to take this cover off and see what's under there. So check out the difference between how dirty this original one was with the new one here and remember the new one is a little bit darker because it's got the charcoal built in but still a huge difference just this one is just caked with dirt and uh, other pollution so i'm really happy that i'm switching this one out the filter has three clips that attach it to the cover just unsnap each one and pull the filter out The new filter may take a little bit of wiggling to get it in. While you have the cover off, it may be a good idea to clean underneath. Reinstall the six 8mm bolts and you'll be all set. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please just give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And like I said before, I'll leave a link to this exact filter down in the description. So if you have an E90, you can get the same one that I got. And if you have a different car, just go on Amazon. Like I said, you can uh, just search your make and model and find the right uh, cabin filter for your car. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.